Who has the burden of proof between the atheist and the theist? Check out this philosopher's answer, comment your thoughts, and follow for more. According to everybody that I know in philosophy of religion, from atheists like Graham Oppie to theists like Alvin Plantinga to experts in epistemology like Robert Audi is... There is no such thing as a burden of proof in these arguments. The idea that the atheist has a default position and that the burden of proof is against the theist is based on bad epistemology from the 1930s. The idea that babies are born with some incohate knowledge of God is just a bad reading of child development studies. So here's the deal. What most epistemologists believe today is that in the beginning, we start acquiring beliefs and we get them from all over the place. We probably don't even know where we're getting most of our beliefs from. But we can be rationally justified or warranted in accepting those beliefs if they are produced by reliable epistemic mechanisms. And what is a reliable epistemic mechanism? Well, it's something that in general produces true beliefs. So in general, you can believe what your parents tell you when you're a kid. In general, you can believe what your senses present to your consciousness. In general, you can believe what you read in books. Does this mean that you can be justified or warranted in believing false things? Absolutely, it happens all the time. We come up with beliefs that we embrace, and then as we go throughout life, we face challenges or defeaters to those beliefs. And so here it is that if two adults are arguing about theism and atheism, each one of them holds a position, holds a particular belief, and the other person is trying to offer challengers or defeaters to their beliefs. But each one is obligated to do that in exchange with each other if they want the other person to agree with them. Yeah, the long and short of it is that there's a general, in my experience, universal agreement in philosophy of religion and in epistemology that there is no such thing as a burden of proof in such arguments.